John Schneider with the Wentzville Fire Protection District. Fire Prevention Month is upon us and the Wentzville Fire District would like you to take some of these important safety tips from this video and bring them home to your friends and family. Discuss them and implement some good changes. Together, we will make everyone more safe. Hi, I'm John with Wentzville Fire District. Welcome to Fire Prevention Week. Millions of kids all across the country will be learning about fire prevention. In this video, we're gonna learn about how it is to be a firefighter, exit drills in the home, fire prevention. The goal of this video is to keep you safe and your family around fire. Jordan here with Winsville Fire. I wanna take a moment to educate you guys on Fire Prevention Week. There's kids all across the nation right now learning about fire prevention and fire safety just like you. So here at Winsville Fire, we wanna stress the importance of fire safety and your well-being. So come and take a look. Jordan here with Winsville Fire. I want to talk to you guys today about EDITH drills. EDITH drills stand for exit drills inside the home. Now, a big part of this is going home to your parents and having a plan just in case an emergent situation happens. Now, you want to have two forms of exit, whether that be a window or a door. Make sure you know how to open a window yourself and open up all the doors in your home. After that, you want to have a safe place you and your family can meet, like a mailbox or a large tree out of harm's way. And most of all, Make sure you don't go back inside and stay far away from the emergency situation. There's a lot of things in your house that may seem harmless, but could also pose a great fire hazard. Things like lighters, electrical cords, or even gas appliances could be very harmful if aren't used right. So make sure you're using all these things with supervision of an adult. And if you ever become hurt or injured, tell someone right away. Hey, this pan's probably still hot after cooking with it. So if you grab it and burn yourself, you can become severely injured. Now one thing you want to do if you grab a hot pan or burn yourself is run your finger over some cold water. If that doesn't really help, you might want to tell your parents right away and you're going to probably have to go to the hospital if anything further is needed. If you ever find yourself and your smoke alarms are going off in your home and you start to notice smoke or fire, I want you guys to fall and crawl to the ground. That hot air and smoke is going to rise to the top of the room or your home and it's going to be a lot harder for you to breathe. So I want you to crawl and go back to those two safe exits we talked about previously. In a serious event and you find yourself on fire, one of the most important things you can do is a simple thing called stop, drop, and roll. You're gonna stop what you're doing, you're gonna drop to the ground, cover your face, and you're gonna roll. Hopefully this activity will snuff out the fire and keep you safe. If you ever find yourself in an emergency situation and you don't have an adult by you, I want you to find the nearest telephone and dial 911. Now, 911 is a serious thing, and if you dial it, help is immediately going to be on the way. This fire truck and other calls will be right there, but it's a serious thing, so only use it in case of an emergency. When you dial 911 for an emergency, you're going to get a fire truck. When you get a fire truck, you're going to get some firemen with a lot of tools. Tools such as this hand tool, like this Halligan bar, which I use to pry and open up doors, or sometimes some more heavy rescue tools, such as these cutters and spreaders. We use these things to open up walls, doors, or cars, and anything else in between. When a fireman shows up to help you, they're not going to be dressed like this. Most likely, they're going to be dressed in their full firefighter structural gear. It looks a lot different than we do now, but trust me, don't be scared. We're there to help you. Thank you for your time and attention to this important video. We appreciate your support and we look forward to seeing you soon. Stay safe out there.